With more data being transmitted and shared electronically, it is becoming increasingly necessary to protect private conversations, boardroom discussions, and trade secret documents from electronic eavesdropping. This is especially true for government organizations, businesses, architects, and building owners looking for ways to design secure buildings. CyberShield by Viracon with Pilkington DataStop has been specifically engineered to reduce the transmission of radio frequency electromagnetic radiation, also known as RF shielding. CyberShield offers electrical attenuation with an average of 45 decibels across a frequency range from 35 megahertz to 18 gigahertz, while optimizing visible light transmission with a neutral glass color. A corner section of an insulated glass unit has been illustrated so you can understand which surfaces have been coded to deliver specific performance requirements. Surface number two can have a silkscreen option as well as a low E coating to enhance thermal performance and solar control capabilities. Pilkington has applied data stop to surface number four to reduce electrical attenuation. A PVB inner layer is added to the glass construction to increase the glass strength and to enable a second layer of data stop on surface number six to further reduce electrical attenuation. Now we'll observe how CyberShield is made. First, glass dose packs are delivered to Viracon, where they can be cut to custom sizes specified by the customer. After the glass has been cut to size, we'll heat strengthen or temper the glass for added strength. The glass is then transported through a furnace where it is heated. Upon exiting the furnace, the glass is cooled by blowing air across each side simultaneously. Once the glass is cooled, there are a number of quality inspections that are conducted to ensure the glass is within specification. Once the glass has completed the heat treatment or tempering process, we can apply a silkscreen pattern as well as a low emissivity coating on the number two surface to maximize solar performance. The inboard light is made of a laminated glass construction, which contains two lights of glass that have Pilkington's data stop on the number four and number six surfaces. The two inboard lights of glass are joined by one or more layers of the polyvinyl butyl, otherwise known as a PVB inner layer. Before we assemble the glass, it is important to edge delete the low emissivity coating to reduce the potential of corrosion on the coated surface. The final process includes two lights of glass, an inboard light and an outboard light that is joined by a hermetically sealed spacer containing a moisture absorbent desiccant. The purpose of the desiccant is used to keep the airspace free of moisture. A dual seal consisting of polyisobutylene or PIB is used as the primary seal and silicone is used as the secondary seal. Once the unit is sealed, it is then packaged in the appropriate crate and prepared for shipping. To test the CyberShield product, we have built a simulation box that has been constructed from conventional framing materials that you might see on a glass facade. Our first example uses an ordinary clear piece of glass without a data stop coding. We will dial the phone to demonstrate that the radio waves can be transmitted through an ordinary piece of glass. Next, we'll use the same box with the same conventional framing materials. However, we have incorporated a conductive gasket in combination with CyberShield glass to demonstrate the effectiveness of the glass coating. You will see the phone does not receive a signal and cannot be called because the transmission of radio frequency electromagnetic radiation has been dramatically reduced. The isometric corner section reveals where the protective coating is located on the insulated glass unit and illustrates how the coating dramatically reduces the transmission of radio frequency electromagnetic radiation. For more information about CyberShield and other architectural glass products, please visit us at viracon.com.